Our next one on the list is an actual SCP document. So we're going to be reading do 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 SCP 2 is it 2536 or 2365? 2536. So let's uh Rewind the URL all the way to the scpwiki.net scp2356 2536 damn me in my wrongness 2536 all right do 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 here we go all right. Do do do. Two five three six. Two five three six. Two five three six. Ah yes, my mimetic liquid. Mmm yes. Anomalously delicious. A dramatic reading of SCP two three five six. Two five three six. Two five three six. I got it right. Item number, SCP-2536. Object class, Keter. Special containment procedures. As the nature of SCP-2536 makes physical containment impossible, containment procedures will instead focus on the manner in which personnel should conduct themselves in the event of a manifestation. To enforce this, as of 12-23-19 redacted, copies of these containment procedures are to be distributed among personnel currently in the employ of the SCP Foundation during the month of December. In the event that SCP-2536 appears before a member of personnel, they are to refrain from accepting any offered gifts, leave the vicinity of SCP-2536, and immediately inform their supervisor. Gifts presented to personnel by SCP-2536 are only to be accepted under strict testing conditions, and after testing are to be confiscated immediately. Description. SCP-2536 is a Christmas tree with purple and white decorations, approximately two meters tall and composed primarily of plastic. A speaker is attached to the base of SCP-2536, which loudly plays the song, I Wish It Could Be Christmas Every Day, by the band Wizard on a constant loop. SCP-2536 only manifests during the month of December, and its status during the rest of the year is currently unknown. During the month of December, SCP-2536 will appear before at least six members of Foundation personnel, one at a time, regardless of distance between them. No reports have been found from the public or elements outside the Foundation indicating SCP-2536 appearing to anyone apart from Foundation personnel. Upon appearance before a member of personnel, a gift in the form of a wrapped present consistent with traditional Christmas practices will be located beneath SCP-2536. This gift hereafter referred to as SCP-2536-1, will contain an item which the chosen member of personnel greatly desires, whether consciously or subconsciously. In cases where the desired item would be too large to feasibly fit inside SCP-2536-1, its interior dimensions become significantly larger than its exterior ones. If the targeted member of personnel ignores SCP-2536 and leaves the area, SCP-2536 will disappear after three to five minutes. SCP-2536 was discovered when it manifested in the office of Site-26 Director Letter during a lockdown after containment breach of SCP- Boop! Redacted. At the time, SCP-2536-1 contained and required materials to temporarily shut down SCP- Redacted and return it to its chambers. Inspection of SCP-2536 by nearby researchers revealed the following note attached to SCP-2536's base. Here at Data Expunged, we love nothing more than to watch the good work you fellows do. Your company and moral integrity, your empathy and moral integrity are an inspiration to us all. And so, in this season of giving, we have decided to present you brave heroes who do so much for us with a gift of your own. Enjoy. Merry Christmas. OSN. Hey chat, by the way, sidebar, does anybody know what OSN is? What is that in SCP Universe? OSN. Witness is 20 minutes late. Ah, SCP 1993 is cool for Christmas. We're doing that one. Uh -huh. OSN. OSN. Well, we'll come back to what the OSN really is. But in the meantime, 
Addendum 2536-1 is a sample record of SCP-2536-1's contents. Site Director Letter received materials required to shut down and subdue SCP Redacted. Dr. Landis re uh, received several excited Welsh Corgi puppies. DNA analysis revealed the puppies were all genetically identical. That's wonderful. D25372 received a middle-aged woman and a pre-adolescent boy, later identified as D25372's wife and son. After a brief interview and dosage of Class A amnestics, they were returned to their home without incident. Redacted received a gold wristwatch. Dr. Ryans received a copy of this file and containment procedures relating to SCP-2536. Note that this incident took place before December 23, 1990, boop, redacted, and Dr. Ryans was thus unaware of the nature of SCP-2536 upon its manifestation. New containment procedures were implemented as a result of this incident. Agent Rally received unknown. According to rec recovered footage from the area, SCP-2536 manifested while Agent Rally was infiltrating a suspected location of Marshall Carter in dark activity, thus revealing his location to them. Agent Rally's current status and location are unknown. D-39122 received Will C. Incident 2536-1. SCP Boop redacted. We need to see SCP-2536-2. So let's check out the incident log, shall we? Incident 2536-1. On 12-29-2000 redacted, at Site 9, SCP-2536 appeared before D-39122 and several other D-Class personnel outside of testing hours. Before security could intervene, D-39122 rec received several anomalous weapons from SCP-2536-1. Anomalous weapons? There's a footnote here. Let's see what kind of present they got. Do do do. Weapons showed the capacity to disintegrate security personnel upon direct hits or cause spatial warping inside their bodies upon glancing blows. Oh my lord. That's pretty hardcore. So, anomalous weapons came out of the present box, distributed them among nearly nearby D-class personnel, and attempted an armed escape. Although this revolt was quickly put down by on-site security, hostilities resulted in several Euclid and Keter level containment breaches, necessitating, so necessitating site-wide lockdown and causing significant personnel casualties. Incident 2536-2. On December redacted, 2000 redacted, at Site 11, during testing of SCP redacted, SCP-2536 appeared before it. SCP Redacted retrieved a small device from SCP-2536-1 consistent in appearance with its own native technology. Upon activating the device, SCP Redacted disappeared completely from Site-11 and is now believed to have tra transported itself to an as-of-yet unknown location on the planet. It is now confirmed that SCP-2536 considers objects and entities under containment by the Foundation to be Foundation personnel. Whew! That's rough, buddy.